Kevin Nash. Is he a better Russian or is he a better Super Shredder? Find out next. In the name of the elders of Bandor, prepare to die! What? Take this gargoyle and this gargoyle! So I've loaded the wrong clip there by mistake, and you can clearly see that Kevin Nash was on an episode of Sabrina the Teenage Wish in a terrible 3D television event. Now, I guess it's time. Let's take a look at Kevin Nash's acting debut in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, where he plays the Super Shredder. Well, dudes, I'd say that's Nash doesn't make his appearance yeah. as the Shredder until the very Cowabunga. end of the film when the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles think Cowabunga. they've won. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my treat to give you the acting debut of Kevin Nash. Not since Tor Johnson have we seen a wrestler in a movie act so naturally, so scary, so overbrooding, so... Oh, fuck it. Just watch. It's a super shredder! <laughs> So it's at this point in the movie, if you're a child of the 80s or the early 90s, that you're excited to see the Super Shredder face the Turtles. I mean, come on, this is to be one of the most epic battles in cinema, right? I mean, on one hand, you have the Shredder, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arch rival, against the Turtles. I mean, and he's got superpowers now because he touched the mutagen? What's gonna happen? What happens is one of the worst travesties in cinematic history. You see, the Super Shredder doesn't even fight the Turtles. Sure, he picks up Leonardo and throws him across the dock, but you know what else he does? He smashes the dock, and the dock collapses, and he falls to his own demise because the dock crushes him. Come on, are you serious? We're Turtles! So that was Kevin Nash as the Super Shredder. He didn't really have much to go with other than go around and be intimidating, but you know what? He would make up for it in his feature film, The Punisher. And let's face it, Tom Jane wasn't the star of The Punisher in 2004. It was Kevin Nash as the Russian. And why is that? Well, because of this. In Soviet Russia, Waldo finds you. Yep, I made that joke. So Howard Saint, at this point in the movie, decides to put a hit out on Frank Castle. And you know who he hires? He hires the Russian. And it goes a little something like this. It's your duty to make Castle dead. I don't care what it takes, what it costs. Call the Russian. Now what ensues next may be the most underrated fight scene involving a professional wrestler since they live with Roddy Roddy Piper. I mean, come on, you're about to see Kevin Nash almost destroy and kill Tom Jane on the cinema screen. What more could you want, people? Knock, knock. Who's there? The KGB. KGB who? We will answer the questions! <laughs> So as you can see, the Russian clearly gets the upper hand on the Punisher right away. And he also does cool things like this. And this. And even this! <laughs> but sadly, as awesome as this fight scene is, he ultimately meets his demise to a boiling pot of water and a flight of stairs. <laughs> Oh. 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 
So that about wraps this episode up. Now what can I say in closing? Kevin Nash might be the only current professional wrestler who gets typecast in movies. I mean, we've seen Hogan wear a tutu, we've seen The Rock wear a tutu, but what has Kevin Nash done other than be a villain in everything he started? Oh yeah, I forgot, he's Odin in the Almighty Thor from the Asylum films. But maybe that's a movie for another day. Well, this is the Pile Driving Critique, where professional wrestling meets pop culture. La donna è nobile, quanti 